Well, if you're just now joining us, I'm talking to Rich Wilkerson, Jr. He's a pastor, he's a new author, and soon-to-be reality TV star. Your show <laughs> is called Rich in Faith, and it premieres on December, December 9th. 9th. Yeah. Awesome. We're excited about it. Yeah, this has been a project that I got to do with uh, my best friend, Jason Kennedy, who's a host on the E! Network, along with Juliana Rancic, uh -huh. who uh, was a longtime host on the E! Network. And Let's take a little look at yeah. a clip we have here. We're on a journey to bring faith to our generation in a whole new way. I don't think people are interested in like, yo, tell me what I can and can't do. But I think people are interested in having a relationship with God. We've got all sorts of people up in this place, united under one name. His name is Jesus. And if we come together and get united, nothing is impossible. And man, this whole journey so far has already brought us around so many great people, from friends in New York, to friends in LA, to our community here in Miami. Hey, how are you doing? Some waters and things in there. Is that good, man? Doing all right? Yeah. My family is my greatest asset. We go one, we, we go, go all. all. Even when we don't see eye to eye. If you lose, you're going to take a legacy down. Certainly there will be obstacles. How are we going to pay for this? With the infertility, do you ever have down moments? Yeah. But I believe because of God, the best is always yet to come. If you love Jesus, give Jesus one more big shout out for I'm ready to do this. My worst nightmare would be having cameras invade my private space. <laughs> Can I just say, talk a little bit yeah. about what that was like. And That's a dramatic yeah. teaser, right? <laughs> It's like, a, it's like a major motion picture or something. Did um, you have regrets along the way that you said, yes, I'll do this? Or? No, you know, it was honestly all in all. I mean, I, I think it's work. You know what I mean? It takes it time work. having people come around. But all in all, it was a really fun experience, and we learned a lot. And the whole hope of this project is that we would get the gospel out in new, fun, creative ways. Yeah. You know, I spend most of my life and most of my week on a platform preaching somewhere. Some weeks I find myself on platforms four times a week wow. preaching the gospel, preaching God's word. But what I've also learned is that that's kind of limited to just the people that come and sit in those mm -hmm. chairs or who click online. I, I want to be a person that speaks the language of the culture. Yeah. I've never watched reality TV. I've got no problem with it, but I was never a fan of it. But I do believe whether you like it, love it, hate it, it's a language of our culture, mm -hmm. Terry. And as the church and as followers of Jesus, I think we're called to invade these places. It's really, really easy to curse the darkness. It takes a real believer to say, I'm going to light a candle in the midst of all of this. Yeah. And you can't change something if you're not first willing to be a part of it. Yeah. I think it's always easy to sit on the backside and criticize. I want to be someone who gets in there and says, let's turn this thing around a little bit. Uh, Julian Aransic asked your wife in the little clip that we saw yeah. if infertility was something she had struggled with spiritually, emotionally. Uh, you you all, I mean, part of reality TV is sharing the reality yeah. of the struggles of life. Yeah. That's kind of a personal thing. How do you deal with that? Yeah, absolutely. I think one of the great questions that I've gotten asked a lot recently, and you and I were kind of even chatting about this, about this generation, millennials, and you know, this book, Sandcastle Kings, everything that we're trying to do, what I've learned from my preaching, what I've learned from discipleship at our church, what I've learned from being a local church pastor is that when I just project only my strengths or when I preach just yeah. polished messages. I've when got I just, it together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's not the stuff that resonates. What resonates with people is when they see your humanity, mm -hmm. when they discover that you too have weaknesses, when they yeah. see that you deal with doubt. I think the best message we can preach is if you're a person who's built their life on the rock, you're not yeah. building a sandcastle, but you're, tr you're trying to build a sandcastle, how do you behave when you have moments of doubt? How do you behave mm. when storms are crashing up against yep. your home? And that is our goal. I'm not saying that we always get it right. Only Jesus does. But I do believe that we have an anchor in the midst yeah. of our storm. We have a firm foundation. His name is Jesus. Yeah. And so talking like about things for us, you know, last five years, we've struggled to have children and we've gone to multiple doctors and it's been a journey of faith. Um, it's not there to exploit it. It's there to encourage somebody who's out there who has yeah. either that problem or, or something, something else. like it yeah. that goes, all right, you can still have joy in mm -hmm. the midst of it. It doesn't mean you don't cry. I, I always say faith has tears. Faith crawls at times, but we've got faith yeah. and faith keeps going. Yeah. I want to know how you keep going. I mean, I'm looking at all of these things that you do. You got a brand new book out. You got a new church. That's a 24-7, 365 Hello. commitment. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And now the reality show coming out, which is going to generate more of the same. How do you 
find time with the one who makes yeah. sense of it all. Yeah, you know, Revelation talks about you've been doing all these good things. Yeah. But man, one thing I hold against you is you've forgotten about your first love. I think for us, all of this stuff that we're seeing is byproducts of our first love. Yeah. Jesus is at the center of what we're trying to do. And I think all of life, we all have the same 24 hours a day. We all have seven days a week. We've got to figure out how to manage that time. I don't want to waste time. I want yeah. to execute it, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we've learned that. I think for me, I've always said that my first passion, aside from Jesus, my wife, my family, is our church. Yeah. You know, Paul talks about being beaten and being shipwrecked mm -hmm. and being naked and clothed. Yeah. Then he goes, above all else, I'm still thinking about the church. <laughs> like, like yeah. as every local church pastor gets that. It's like, all right, I got all this other stuff going on, but and on top of that, I'm still worried about church. And exactly. so that never leaves you. But that thing, the local thing that we're doing has always provided a platform for national, even global at times. Mm -hmm. And so we always try to put all of our eggs in, into that basket. And then as, yeah. as it grows, God's given us team and people to help us chart the course a little bit for yeah. some of these other projects. Well, you have a rich spiritual heritage. Are, are you called a PPK? Or a, <laughs> how does that work when it's you're like people, grandfather, yeah. father? <laughs> All the non-Christians out there, these are code words for, you know, <laughs> I was having a conversation the other, day, the other day and said, you know, PKs were bad, but you know who are really bad is those MKs, man. And then they go, the DKs, the deacons kids, those are the kids you got to look out for. And we were laughing so hard. I don't know. I'm four generations preacher's kid on both sides. Wow. And um, yeah, I think and our, lived to tell about it and is yeah. now telling others. And Come on. that's what we want you to know. Rich's book is called Sandcastle Kings. Wonderful message in it. Be real. And then Jesus will be real to someone else. It's available wherever books are sold. His new reality TV show again, it's Rich in Faith. It starts December 9th. That's on Oxygen. So check that out and look at your local listings for details on that. Thank you so much. Wonderful Thank to have you, you with so us. Much. We'll Appreciate be praying you. and rooting for you. Oh, love you. Thank <laughs> Take you. The word. Thank <laughs> you.